karate, or empty-handed, was the most strenuous military art of old Japan and remains today a most unusually effective form of barehanded combat. To become a karate expert requires years of rigorous training and discipline, and its practice is said to build not only a powerful and supple body, but also a strong character. The practice of karate today demands the utmost devotion to the principles of good sportsmanship and fair play. Thus, as an infallible technique of self-defense, as an excellent method of physical training, and as an exciting sport, karate has begun to gain recognition throughout the world. two karate men demonstrating the main principles of defense and attack in slow motion. This type of practice, in which the form of attack is prearranged, is what is first taught beginners. Later, as skill is developed, freestyle sparring, in which attacks are not prearranged, may be engaged in as a sport. When this stage is reached, punches and kicks are stopped just short of contact in order to avoid seriously injuring the opponent. In self-defense, it is used as an adjunct to the others of blocking, punching, and kicking. In karate, throwing depends upon an effective use of the force of the opponent's attack and is used either before or after punching. called kata are sets of exercises in which the fundamental techniques of karate, such as striking, kicking, blocking, and dodging, are performed in a set routine. There are more than 50 such sets of exercises, some relatively simple, others rather complex. These enable the karate student to practice by himself and to perfect his form. In practicing these exercises, one imagines being attacked in various ways and from all directions. virtue is its unique adaptability to various situations where self-defense is required. Here it is used to block an attack aimed at one sitting on the floor in Japanese fashion. The counter-attack is then successfully delivered. On a chair, the mobility of one's hands and feet is considerably less than when standing. The karate expert, however, can skillfully block the enemy's attack and then deliver his own counterattack aimed at the most vulnerable point.
object of a surprise attack and a part of the body is immobilized, the attack must be immediately frustrated by using those parts of the body still free. Thus, if the hands are restrained, the body must be instantly maneuvered so that the feet may be brought into play. against the karate expert who, taking advantage of a moment of inattention on the part of his opponent, may successfully defend himself against a pistol. protect himself through skillful body movement, blocking, punching, and kicking. The heaviest of weapons is no match for the hands and feet of the experienced karate player. on attack. Then, and only then, are karate techniques brought into play. For this reason, karate is much more than merely a way of fighting. It is a controlled and regulated sport, the art of which consists not only of the most absolute self-control, but also a complete observance of the universal code of good sportsmanship. Thank you. 